Hi, Vanner Fanner family. This is another Veda video, and it's Mental Health Monday. But before we get into Mental Health Monday, I just want to remind you, as I've always been, help out your favorite YouTubers by subscribing to their channels, liking their videos, definitely sharing them, and joining them for channel engagement in their comment section. If you are so inclined, be a channel partner with them, either their Patreon or their YouTube join button. It helps them to grow their channel, provide additional content, and earn some extra income. Okay, so for this Mental Health Monday, I want to give us um, some ideas and some ways that we can be creative and also how we can... Um, get some of our feelings out as we're spending some time alone. Um, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I am someone who has bipolar 2, depression, and anxiety. I was medicated for um, several years and am no longer. So if you hear all this sound, it is raining outside right now. And I needed to get this video filmed because I have so many other things to do. And I just could not pick a time today when it wasn't raining. Every time I started filming, it would pour down raining. And so I've given up trying to <laughs> film in between rain. So you're going to hear all this pitter pattering and I'm going to try, try and talk louder than the rain, but bear with me here as I deal with mother nature. So, um, this video is going to be about how to get those feelings out, how to do something con con creative and constructive with those feelings as we're spending time alone, either locked down by ourselves completely with our families, with our um, significant other, however you're doing your specific lockdown. Um, this is something that I have done pretty much all my life off and on. And again, it is journaling. <laughs> there are many ways to journal very cheaply. Literally, you can get index cards to jot down notes and ideas. Um, Dollar Tree sells a pack of these, I think 50 or 100. There you go, done. That in a pen or a pencil and you're done. There's your journal. Um, Dollar Tree weekly planner or monthly planner. Um, I like the weekly planner. Uh, I'll show you why. Let me go to a fresh week. But I like their weekly planner. I like their weekly planner because it has lines in it. Um, obviously, I wish Saturday and Sunday were a little bit bigger, but their weekly planner is quite well thought out as far as, uh, I mean, it's a calendar, but it's quite well thought out as far as um, writing goes because you already have lines, so you're like good to go there. Um, I enjoy that, and I've been using this quite frequently as my journal for jotting down feelings, for tracking my moods, stuff like that. I like to know how my mood has been, what kind of triggers may have been triggering my mood. Although right now with the current situation we in, it's kind of hard to pinpoint my triggers. Um, also at the Dollar Tree, you can just get a composition book. Um, I love composition books. I am a big fan of them. Um, Dollar Trees are not as well made as some others. But I do like them because they're only a buck and they have the one with the red cover. So I do like that. I tend to jot down goals and uh, video ideas in this one. I also like to dibble and dabble in drawing and um, just, you know, doodling. So that's a good one. So what I've done for mine is I've taken every two pages and I've glued them together. So even though this says 100 sheets, it's only 50 because I've taken every two pages and glued them together because these pages are quite thin. So I do that. Or you can get creative for creative juices and make your own. This is based on the disc bound system, which also there's a very popular planner called the Happy Planner that uses this system. But Arc is a good planner at Staples. Um, and uh, I think Levenger is another one that uses the disc bound system. But you can buy these discs separate. You can buy a punch that punches the hole that goes with these disc and you can make your um, journal any size you want. I have made this out of an old composition book cover. Just tore it off and cut it down to size by tracing another small book that I had. I took this file folder, this um, vinyl file folder and made pockets. Then just bought lined paper and dot grid paper. This is another one that I use for, you know, 
journaling and also writing down video ideas and stuff like this. This one's a little more portable, even though it's really, really thick. It's a little bit more portable than the big composition book because this one will fit in my bag that I carry. This one, not so much. But yeah, I've got line paper in here and dot grid paper. So this one is more like a, uh, almost like a calendar. I could carry this as a calendar. I do carry a smaller version of this, a skinnier version, about half this um, width in my um, bag every day that I can use to jot down grocery lists or shopping lists or reminders. Or if I get a video idea while I'm out, I'll do that as well. And a couple other things I keep are little pocket pouches that, you know, you can find at Dollar Tree. I, if you don't know, I love Dollar Tree, guys. I love it. <laughs> Such a uh, great place to shop for stuff. But I get, um, you know, the correction tapes from Dollar Tree. Um, what else? Sharpies from Dollar Tree. This huge pen that has all the different colors in it because I, I love writing in different colors. I like um, circling, I like highlighting, I like underlining things that have significant meaning. I also love writing in pencil because I don't like my journal to be junky, which is why I have a correction tape if I'm writing in pen. I don't like scratch outs. I keep a pair of scissors, you never know. A little small baby ruler. Um, a pencil sharpener and a mechanical pencil, which I love mechanical pencils. And my big glue, if you are a gluer, oh, what is that all over my thing? If you are a gluer or a crafter, this is the best glue stick ever, the Elmer's Extreme. It is really, really nice. And I have another little Dollar Tree pouch here that has some other things in it. It has regular markers, just regular coloring markers. And it has several um, color highlighters because, like I said, I love to highlight. And you can even use regular markers as highlighters and underliners. I also have a thinner Sharpie in here. It's got a two-sided Sharpie. One's a medium tip and one's a thin fine point tip. And um, in my purse, I have the best ever mechanical pencil. I should have brought that out. I don't know why I didn't. Um... But I have a mechanical pencil, and I'll try and find a picture and put it on the screen. But I have a mechanical pencil, um, or should I say pen. So it's a two-color two color or three-color pen and a mechanical pencil. It's four in one. Love that thing forever. I actually got one for Mr. P, too, because he's a mechanical pencil lover as well. But if I can have my four-color pens and a mechanical pencil, I mean my three-color pens, red, blue, and black... And then a mechanical pencil all in one. Best thing ever because those that's the main colors that I use for color coordinating my calendar and stuff like that. Anyway, as a way to jot down your feelings and whatnot in your journal, as a way to be productive, um, what I would say is for something like this, just a few sentences every day. How you're feeling, what you're going through, what you did that day. Um, how your mood was. You can do a wake up mood. You can do a go to bed mood. You can do a midday mood, however you want to track your mood. I tend to go with a general all day kind of mood when I do mine. I tend to journal late in the day or at night. Um, occasionally I do the morning, the next morning after that day because I've forgotten. So um, that's kind of how I do my journal. I just do a couple of sentences every day. Um, what I did that day, how I was feeling that day. Um, if anything significant happened that day, I definitely jot that down. Uh, if I met with friends, if I did something, if I had a really particularly um, productive day, I write down what I did. Just any little thing that helps. It's nice to go back, flip through, and just be like, okay. And so this is the whole year in one little thin book. Let me take the pen out. One little thin book. So even if I have, you know, 20 of these, they're only going to be, you know, so much but they're very thin takes up very little room you're not adding anything to it you're just jotting down those couple of sentences every day and boom you're done and you can even take them out of this vinyl cover and make your own cover or decorate this cardboard you know because it's a thin cardboard but you could decorate this cardboard and have your own little personalized journal and take it out of the vinyl cover i like the vinyl cover it comes in different colors at dollar tree i think Red, um, pink, green, blue, and I believe brown. Um, it's really hard to find a gray or a black one. I think occasionally they have black, but those tend to go first. So right around November, start looking for these on um, these um, calendars. 
because they come out in weekly and monthly. Obviously, monthly is too small to write in that little box every day, but I mean, I guess you could if you're just going to track your mood. You could get the monthly one and just write your moods in there. You can even do it as um, like a smiley face for a good mood, uh, a brownie face for a bad mood. You could come up with different symbols in the month. You can track the weather and your mood on the monthly calendar if you want. I do like that this one has this little section on the side. Let me see. These little lines on the side, this is where I jot little things down, like my mood. So these, this little line doesn't take away from me writing my journaling. I can track a little mood up here. I can even use this gray box at the top to track my mood or the weather. So I love that this has the extra little features, not just the lines. Um, I do wish it, I don't know, had a little more... Um, space like I could do without all of this big header because I would rather have Saturday and Sunday be bigger so I could do without all this header up here if Saturday and Sunday could be equal parts I also wish it started on Sunday instead of Monday I'm not a Monday start week person I'm a Sunday start week so I would love for seven seven even size boxes starting with the Sunday but it's something I could make if I decided to make but you know for a buck I buy this every year and use it. Um, I don't necessarily stick to it all year long. I do like all the different kinds of journaling, but I do try and stick to one of these for most of the year so I can go back and look at it at the end of the year. I hope that helps you. Um, I don't know if that helps you focus your mental health, helps you focus on getting your thoughts and feelings out and then going back later to track them and maybe track triggers or track your mood and see that the time of the month, especially for us ladies and hormones possibly having something to do with it. I do occasionally mark my cycle in this so I can see when my mood is changing according to my cycle, um, the days before my cycle, the days during my cycle, the days after my cycle. So it's good to have that information all in one spot. I hope that helped you. Thank you so much for watching another Mental Health Monday video from start to finish without skipping and watching as much of the ads as you possibly can. I love you guys so much. Mwah! You got a few seconds left. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Check out the playlist of the journey from day one. And a big thank you to my channel partners for making this video possible.